Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've been playing with the A8 Plus and having a ton of fun. Friends, it's time to print a calibration cube and see just how accurate it is right out of the box. So let's get cracking. I am using Kira 4.71, and as you can see, I've got my 0.3 millimeter layer settings. My calibration cube is the XYZ calibration cube. There it is. I'm going to leave it centered just like that. I'm going to keep the name. I am using PLA, so let's double check. We've got our settings set for PLA. I am going to bump it up to 205, and I'm going to make the speed 75. I've got my SD card inserted, so let's save it to the removable drive, eject it, and take it over to the 3D printer. Alrighty friends, so let's go down to print from SD. I will have to refresh it because I just added it. And there is my calibration cube. I had it preheated, so this should go pretty quick. Alrighty friends, so moment of truth. Let's see how accurate we are out of the box. So first let's measure X. 20.1, 20.2, that's pretty impressive. Now let's measure Y. 20.1, I can deal with that. And now let's measure Z, you can see there's X. And it's 19.9, or almost exactly 20 if I don't push too hard, which is pretty darn sweet. Once again, friends, I am pretty impressed with the results I'm getting from this relatively cheap, large size 3D printer. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.